Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to another base build horde fight video here in 7 Days to Die. This build was essentially designed by Neebs from Neebs Gaming. It was in their current Darkness Falls series episode 21. It's called the Jumping Defense Tower. I added a little bit more to it than what Neebs had done, but basically he did two towers like this here and this here with ladders going up you just climb up to the top of one tower and then shoot down at the zombies climbing up after you and when they get too high you just jump to the other tower and do the same thing shoot down at the zombies climbing up after you and when they get too high up the ladder you jump back pretty fucking simple i thought it was like beautifully simple so i had to try it in my own form of course which means i maxed out my character and jacked up the fucking day to 500 so we got to deal with a pretty large horde and because of that i added a little bit more to the tower obviously I upgraded i got two dick punchers uh and on these towers here i got another tower here that we can jump to uh, so we can go here this way if we want to, and then we can actually go here, and then, uh, oh, shit, that could be a problem. Uh, we're gonna try not to do that during the fight, but if we do fall, I put ladders in this center column, which we can use to get back to any one of the towers, like that. And I put the center column in so I can have some bars above us. Because I didn't want to um, put the bars, like, or connect the bars to the towers. So this is going to give us a little bit of protection from birds, not much. But I figured if I connected the bars to the towers, that might screw up the zombie pathing. Oh god, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> I mean, full disclosure, I don't expect to survive this at all. But that's okay, I'm just doing it for fun, and for needs and for science. I mean, this setup will work against, you know, a handful of zombies, but I doubt it's going to do much against a giant horde of radiated zombies with cops and demolishers and fucking spider zombies and birds. But then again, you never know until you try, right? So that is what we're doing. We're going to see if we can survive or at least how long we can survive for. So let's bring on the horde and start the suffering. All right, here we go. Here come our first victims. Step right up, bitches. Mm, too much armor. Probably should have started with the AK instead of the shotgun. Oh, there we go. Shotgun does have some up. Uh, oh, god damn it. Oh, okay. We're good. Shotgun has some stopping power. Knock him off the ladder easily. God damn, we gotta watch out for cop puke. I knew that was gonna be, like, the biggest issue with this. Oh, so far, though. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, god damn it. Oh, my god. That fucking cop puke is destroying me. I think I've got to put armor on. That could be a problem. No armor. That cop puke does a lot of damage. Throwables are working good, though. I didn't bring any Molotovs. Those, those would have been good. Get some fire down there. Let's just see how this round goes. Maybe we'll try it again. Oh! That was a Demolisher. Demolishers blowing up down there would not be good because uh, they're going to destroy the ladders. I did upgrade the ladders to steel, though, so they do have a good amount of hit points. I mean, so far, it's not bad. The zombies are doing what they're supposed to be doing, except for a few of them are kind of doing random shit, like going up the center column ladders for some reason. But for the most part, they're following me. They're going up the ladder on the column that I'm standing on, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. Holy shit! Oh, fuck you, zombies. How are they making that jump? Oh, this guy was already... There was a guy already on this ladder. Shit. Not good. Oh, no. All right. Fuck. I need a lot of first aid. But it's, like, really hard to stop and do anything for a moment because they're constantly coming after you. Oh, should have lit that first. There we go. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Gotta go. Shit. Oh, there's no ladder on this one. 
Okay, round number two. I'm gonna take a recog right now because I forgot to take one in the last round. I got first aid kits on me, Molotovs. We're gonna do better this time. Oh, popping heads already. We're starting with the AK versus the shotgun. Look at this, and we're already doing better. I'm gonna watch my ammo. Once we're out, I'm gonna reload as I jump. I can do that because I have running gun maxed out. Oh, look at this. This is exactly how the base is supposed to work. Here we go. Oh, here comes the cop puke. Our biggest adversary. And, of course, I'm just realizing I forgot to fucking put armor on. That, uh, that really would have helped with the damage that we're taking from this cop puke. Holy shit. Oh, not good. Really not good. We need first aid. Blurred. All right, third time's a charm. That's what they say, right? I got armor on this time. So, uh, I mean, the cop puke is still going to be a very big issue, our biggest issue. But hopefully with the armor, which is steel armor, by the way, it, it, it'll do less damage. Here we go. I mean, it works, you know? The zombies jump off the ladder and they come for the ladder on the new tower that you're standing on. This is what it is supposed to do. This is what it does. And like I said at the beginning of this video, oh, God damn it! I always forget to light the first one. Uh, this would work great for, you know, just a handful of zombies uh, if you needed some sort of defense, especially if you're dealing with runners and shit. But the Knight 500 Horde, <laughs> once cops get involved, uh, and we haven't even had birds yet, we haven't had to deal with them, um, it gets pretty fucking dangerous up here. I'm trying to uh, keep it moving a lot more than I was before, damn it. He's standing in one spot is uh, it's not good for too long. The thing is, if I move too fast, then I'm going to end up with zombies on every ladder. Look at this guy. Fuck you. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, damn it. We are bleeding. Get out of the way, asshole! See, this is not good if I got zombies, uh, on every tower. Alright. We're okay. Oh! Oh, shit! Not good. Oh, no. Oh, God! Fuck! Alright. Keep it moving. We can do this. Fuck. I need a shield. Oh no, the ladder fell. The top piece of the ladder fell. I think I may have shot it off. That, that was probably my fault. Oh, the zombies are still getting up though. I'm sure we could still get up. With one piece of the ladder missing, won't be a problem for us. Oh, gotta go. Yeah, dude, they should add a shield to the game. Just a straight-up defense melee thing. Where, you know, you, you don't you can't even hit them with the shield. You just it's just straight up defense for like cop puke and shit like that. And maybe, you know, bullets too, if you're playing uh multiplayer and you're dealing with other other humans shooting at you. I would say like the wood one gets destroyed after like one hit from the cop puke, so it's like a one and done, and then maybe the iron one is, is a bit tougher, and then the steel one, of course, is tougher than that. I think it's a good idea. It could uh, definitely help with bases like this, where uh, cop puke is the biggest problem. Oh, shit. Throw that thing. Oh, get out of the way, asshole. Okay. Go. 
Oh, demolisher blew up. Oh god, he probably destroyed a bunch of fucking pieces of ladder down there. Oh, they're still getting up this way. Jump. Yeah, see, we could still get up on this tower, even though a piece of the ladder's missing. Okay. Well, we're definitely doing the best we've done so far. Which isn't saying much, because we're not even halfway through hour 23 yet. Oh, just melting them off this ladder, though. Here we go. I do love the simplicity of this idea. I don't think the dick punchers are really doing much. I guess when zombies get all the way up on top of the tower, they help a little. They're not even doing anything. This guy's not even helping. What a waste the dick punchers were. I should have just used the fucking shooting junkies. Oh, what was that? Oh, shit. Fuck you, Skinny Pete. Oh, no. All right, we're good. We're good. We just have a sprained leg. It's not broken. I can still jump. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Nope, that ladder's out. Oh, things are blowing up. Come on. Get out of my way, asshole. Oh, God. God, God. Over here, ladies. Okay, let's see how this little simple setup, basically the same thing Neebs built, works against 25 feral Arlenes. Bop. Oh. What are you gonna do, ladies? You gotta come up this ladder now. Oh, shit. Why wasn't that loaded? God. I'm a mess. Oh, look at that. Oh, what are you doing up here still? Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, 25 zombies is a lot. You probably wouldn't get that many even in a wandering horde. Maybe if you were dealing with a shit ton of screamers, you know, and they just kept spawning in. Lady, get the fuck out of here. Is she dead? She is not dead. God damn it. One, back up. They're just hanging out on the other tower. <laughs> it's not really built for a lot of zombies. Like I said, a handful maybe. You know, if you were playing Darkness Falls or, you know, hardcore vanilla and you and you had the zombies set to uh, nightmare speed or just, you know, runners or whatever, and you wanted to set something like this up near your base or near your home so if a wandering horde happened to come upon you, you could use it as defense because this is certainly better than fighting on foot, you know, on ground level with them. Even though we did just get beat up pretty bad by uh, by just 25 zombies. Oh, fuck it. Come on, bitches. Oh, give me a break. I mean, this setup is funny. It's it's right up Neebs' alley, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for the comedy relief and shit like that, it's hilarious. It really is. It's simple. It's funny. It does kind of work. But personally, I would build something smaller so it costs less resources and something that's a bit more efficient. There you go. That's what I would build maybe outside my home or even outside my base if I just wanted something for a quick defense against a wandering horde or a bear or a wolf or a mountain lion. It's significantly less resources than the towers, um, and it's pretty damn simple, and it works. I know it works because I used it in my Darkness Falls series. I even fought a bear in one of these, and uh, it's nice. You know, you upgrade those bars a little bit more, get this thing to concrete, and you are good. The zombies get stuck right here. You beat the shit out of them through that little window with some melee if you want, or shoot at them if you want, and uh, you're good to go. Jump up right here, and uh, go to work. So, this is what I would use for uh, a small little defense. You're not going to fight a horde here. Maybe the Knight 7 horde, you know, this would certainly work for that. But uh, it's really just, like I said, for quick defenses if you're dealing with runners in your game or whatever. This was fun, though. I enjoyed that. I was hoping I would have lasted a bit longer. That's what she said. <laughs> I probably could have lasted longer if I would have kept trying, but 
I think I'm done for now. Anyway, if you're not watching the Neebs Gaming Darkness Fall series they are currently doing, you definitely need to. It's a lot of fun. Big shout out to that whole crew. I love those guys. And uh, big shout out to you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. I really do appreciate it. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more and I will catch you guys in the next video.